So in my video this week, I'm going to focus on getting this Dana 60 front axle completely wrapped up. So in one of my last videos, what we did was weld up the outer knuckles and weld the high steer arms to the knuckles. And we're doing the high steer to keep that steering up out of the rocks. So now what I want to do is finish putting together that axle. In another previous video, I kind of came up with a ram mount and put the truss and everything on there. So now it's the it's time to tie it all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those knuckles. I'm going to press in the new ball joints. I'm just putting ball joints on the bottom and on the top, I'm doing ball joint eliminators. And basically the ball joint eliminators just consist of a brass bushing, a bolt, and then an aluminum threaded insert that just presses into the knuckle. So I'm going to put all that together and then I'm going to put it on the axle. And then I'm going to put an alignment bar through the axle. And I'm, the alignment bar comes with two pucks that go in it. And then you put the wheel bearings on the outside and it lines it all up so everything stays nice and straight. This makes it really easy for uh, just making sure everything stays straight, but at the same time for cutting the, um, the two tie rods, I guess you could call them, or the two pieces that attach from the ram to the outer knuckle. So basically the alignment bar keeps it all straight and then I just have to center that ram so it's e even distance on each side and then cut the two pieces that go onto that. So that's my plan for this axle and I need to get it wrapped up and uh, weld it out. I'm going to weld everything except for the shock mounts because once again I'm not 100% on where these shocks are going to go. I'm pretty confident but not 100%. And so I still might need to move them around a little bit. So uh, let's, let's get moving on this axle. So what, what's going on here is I have an alignment bar going through there that I borrowed from a friend. And so this alignment bar um, connects right here at the center. It's got two pucks holding it in place. And I'll kind of demonstrate how this goes in. Um, these two pucks are holding it in place. And then it goes out to the outer wheel bearings uh, to each side. And then so what that helps me do is guarantee that the axle is straight and that I'm getting these knuckles lined up because I shortened this other side. So I don't, wanna, I don't want one of the knuckles to be slightly off from the other side. So what I'm doing is checking, I'm checking the knuckles with my angle finder to see if they line up. And so, so I'm checking the degree on the knuckles on each side. I've got the, I've got the axle <clears throat> leveled up this way. So across the top of the truss, it's leveled up. Everything looks like it's leveled up. And then I put a piece of tubing across the top of these knuckles. <clears throat> so that I could line them up as well. Because the ram's going to go across right here, I want this to be level from there to there so that when you're looking at it, everything's lined up straight. Uh
All right, so now I've got everything assembled on the axle. I have the outer knuckles on there, I have the ram on there, and this is my cover. And I just wanted to make sure that this ram is going to clear this cover, because that's an important thing. I've seen people have to grind their covers down before because it gets so close. So everything, everything's gonna clear, everything's in good shape. What I did is I centered the ram, so it's the same distance on each side, so it's all centered. I've got the alignment bar in there, it's holding these knuckles straight so nothing can move. And I've got these three quarter inch rod ends on each end right here. And I've got them about halfway down the threads on each one so that I'll have adjustment uh, either way. It'll adjust it in or adjust it out as, as things kind of get tweaked over time out in the rocks. So the alignment bar is holding everything really close. So I just have to get my measurement right here, which is eight inches to cut this tube to eight inches for this side. <clears throat> This side is a lot shorter over here. That side's much shorter over there. So I've got to get my, my measurement for over there. And the reason that it's shorter is because this ram is, is off center. It's uh, the center of the axles right here and this ram is off center because of how big the diff is right here. And if you wanted to center the ram perfectly, it'd have to stick out pretty far off of this diff. And it just kind of gets out there way. I like to kind of keep it all tucked up uh, really nicely. And I would rather just deal with a little bit uh, longer arm on one side. So that's what I'm working on now. Just gonna get these measurements and then cut these. And uh, yeah, then we, can, then we can get this portion of this done. I can get these tubes cut. I can get these all welded up. And then the major fabrication part of this axle will be done. So here's my Dana 60 sitting approximately where it will be in the chassis. It, it'll be just slightly forward more, but this would be, this would be a little bit lower than it'd be drooped out a little bit more than where the ride height's going to be. But this is a pretty good idea where it's at. I got the Ram, uh, mounts all welded in place. I've got my, uh, small arms going out to the, to the knuckles all welded up and figured out and I got the control arm mounts in place. I got my diff cover here. And the only thing I got to finish up for sure is I've got the shock mounts tacked in place. Um, I got to wait to get shocks to make sure that location's going to work. And then another thing I need to do is still re-gear um, this axle. So I've got the carrier and everything right there. And so I'll do that at a later date. I still have to order the axle shafts and everything, but there's no real big hurry on that right now. So I definitely still have a lot of steps there, but um, I'm, I've got the basic shell of this axle uh, pretty well in place. So those are a lot of the bigger projects are pretty well completed. And I'm happy just to continue moving forward with this. And I'm happy how this came out. It's tucked up in there nice and tight and uh, everything came out. Everything came out pretty well.